Hey, it's Cousin Vinny. Kim Sullivan. And this is our last episode to talk about secrets, secrets and, and lies. lies. Oh my God, finale. <laughs> First of all, we got to say, if you didn't see the finale yet, cut, cut, cut. Spoiler. Spoiler alert, yeah. because we're going to tell you who committed the crime and who killed Tom. Um, Kim, thoughts of last night's episode? Insane. I was right. I know. I want to... <laughs> That's all I can think of as we were going to start doing this. I'm like, Kim's just going to keep gloating that she was right. I was right. It was insane. It was insane. Yeah. It Shh. was a pretty intense episode. Abby, uh, we all, all this whole time, we thought she was eight years old. Apparently she's 12. Okay. Because right? they said it like three times in the last episode. But anyways, <laughs> she's 12 years old and she's a psychopath. She is a psychopath. Oh, From yeah. the beginning of the show, you know it's her. Because she's like, can we stop talking about Jessica now? Because they think it's Jessica. Because, of course, they bring Jessica in to the police station. And right away, you know, like, she has to be guilty. She's like, yay, problem solved. And it's 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 scary because if uh, Ben, the father, if he didn't find the shoes full of blood, they never would have found out that it actually was her. Yeah. So now the big dilemma becomes, and we, I guess we can ask this in real life if, if it happens to you, if, you're, if you know your son or daughter is guilty of murder, do you turn them in? Would you turn them in? Would you go to jail for them? Because that's what he ends up doing. That's pretty intense. Yeah. He's giving up his life for a 12-year-old psychopath. I did not like Cornell from the start. I've said this in our first yeah. video. I loved her in this episode. Well, because you see a different side of her toward yeah. the last two or three episodes, right? I, I love the fact that she's like, why do you think I put my daughter in prison? Yeah. Why do you think, like, this whole storyline develops and you're like, okay, like, she's awesome. And you see her, <laughs> you see her show emotion. Yeah, the last episode, finally. In the last 10 minutes, she finally shows emotion. By the way, I didn't get to watch any of these. I read this online that there's a, something called Cornell Confidential where she goes behind the scenes of the show and there's no a whole series. Way. Yeah, yeah, I never had the time to watch it. But I'll, I'll answer this question first. Now, I'm not a parent. Now, I would say that I would want to do the right thing, but I can just imagine being in that situation and being like, that's my son, that's my daughter, I can't do it, right? Yeah. Would you? Well, see, I, I don't have kids either. Yeah. I have puppies. <laughs> <laughs> if they did something wrong. No, in all honesty... Um, it's tough. It's tough. I, I, I think I would... Before, because he jumps, he jumps on it right away. Like yeah. right away, knows that he's gonna go and say it's me and protect the daughter. Like I think I would have taken a step back and maybe talked with the daughter a bit more and try to see if she's a psychopath first. Like try True. to see if it was truly like an accident, because she claims it was an accident up until the last second. Exactly. And uh, so I probably would have tried to see if it was an accident. If there's maybe underlines of something more serious there has to be but i can tell you one thing as a father i don't know be like yeah i'm just gonna take the bullet for her i'm gonna go to prison for 25 years to life i mean dude yeah <laughs> he steps up that's and like she killed his son she didn't it's like it's not like a random kid it's not like it would be any better for a random kid but she killed his son like she so at the end of the episode uh we we're talking about detective cornell she says I'm going to put Abby away. Something along those lines, right? Season two. Well, see, that's the whole thing. Now, I was doing my research. I, you probably were too. I was looking everywhere. Is there a season two or not? We don't know. Not confirmed. Okay. But with an ending like that, how can there not be? And I'd love to see the same cast. Yeah. And see Ben Crawford somehow. He gets out of prison. And maybe something with Abby. A new story develops. They Maybe if they move the family somewhere else and then something else happens. But now you scare me because <laughs> they would have to film it. And some of the rumors we heard is that they were filming with a new cast. So maybe that means we'll never know what happens to <sighs> Abby. Which would... Yeah. I just... In that last second... And again, if you have not watched it, stop now. Yeah, please. Um, It's how it ends. It's the last like 25 seconds. And she says... If only Tom would have followed me to the river, then Jess would be gone and not in... Like, I'm assuming her thought was like, accidental drowning, Jess will leave the city, my family will be good Very to go. chilling, that, that uh, scene. The <laughs> fact that she says that, the mom right there clicks, oh my God, I have a daughter that's yeah. a psychopath. So I'm thinking season two will be the mom trying to get the husband to say it's not him and try to help the daughter. I don't know. Please be a season two. Please be Please. a season two. So that wraps it up. Secrets and lies. It was such a blast. Kim. It was so <sighs> fun. High five. High five. It was so much fun talking about it. If there is another show Please. you'd like us to not spoil. Yeah. <laughs> Let us know because apparently we love talking about TV shows. I know. We do. Yeah. We do. And thank you so much for commenting below and guessing and, and, and having fun And would you go to jail for your child? I seriously want to know. <sighs> Please leave your comments below. That's Kim Sullivan. I'm Custom Vinny. We'll see you next time.